So in this video, we've got two calculations uh, using the Avogadro constant. Uh, the Avogadro constant is uh, this number here, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Um, now that immediately makes it sound incredibly complicated to deal with, but the concept is really very, very simple. Uh, the Avogadro constant is a name given to a number. Okay, uh, that may still sound difficult, but it's simple. Let me give you an example. If I said dozen to you, you would just say 12 to me. So dozen is the name given to the number 12. Well, the Avogadro constant is the name given to this number. It's a very large number, six with 23 zeros after it. But the concept is no more difficult to understand than the dozen, other than the fact it's a very big number. Now, um, what we have to do here is, uh, in this question, calculate the number of molecules in five moles of glucose. This is glucose here. Well, the Avogadro constant is the number of particles in one mole. OK, um, so uh, if I said to you, how many eggs do you have if you have five dozen eggs? Um, hopefully you'd say to me 60. So the maths you've done to do that is you've said, uh, taken the, the dozen or the constant, if you like, uh, and multiplied it by five. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do uh, the number of moles, the number of dozen, if you like, OK, multiplied by the constant, 12 in the case of a dozen, but in this case, the Avogadro constant, the Avogadro constant. Uh, and that's going to give us an extremely large number, uh, but it is, you know, exactly the same as saying if you've got, uh, how many eggs do you have if you have two dozen? You have two times 12, 24. We're going to do five here because we've got five moles and we're going to multiply it by this Avogadro constant, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. OK, so after you've got your head around that, the next most difficult thing is entering those numbers in your calculator. OK, so watch carefully as we, as, as we, as we do this. Um, let's uh, see if we can just do that there for a second and uh, uh, we can all see that. OK, right, so what we've got, we've got five to start with. OK, so we're going to do five, then multiply, multiply. This sounds like sucking eggs, I know, but this is where you'll make a mistake in just a moment. 6.02. 6.02. Right, now this times here. The mistake people make is they press multiply again. Do not press multiply. Times 10 to the 23. Okay, you need to find the button on your calculator that works. In this case, it's this one. Okay, don't press any other button. Press that one. Okay, it may be called something else on your calculator. Um, different calculators call it something different. It's often down the bottom though. So uh, look carefully. Ask your teacher if you're not sure. Press that button. Times 10. So that's now times 10. We now need to put 23 in. 23. After you've done that, press equals. Okay. Uh, and it's worth having a go at this and seeing you get the answer. 3.01 times 10 to the 24. So that's what we're going to write. 3.01 times 10 to the 24. There's that many mo uh, molecules in five moles. Okay. Next question. Using exactly the same equation, we're just going to rearrange it this time. It says a beaker contains this many molecules. Uh, how many moles of water are present? Okay, so let's make that back into the uh, use a dozen again to try and understand that. If I said I've got 36 eggs, 36 eggs, how many eggs do I have? How many dozen eggs do I have, I should say? I've got 36 eggs, how many dozen eggs do I have? Hopefully you're saying uh, three dozen. And the maths you're doing is 36, the number of eggs, divided by the constant, the dozen, 12. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do the number of molecules, or the number of particles, uh, depending on how the question is worded. Number of molecules, or uh, number of atoms, maybe even depending on how the question is worded. The number of molecules divided by the Avogadro constant, the, uh, the, the, the dozen, if you like, the, the name given to the number, divided by the Avogadro constant. So this time, 4.214 times 10 to the 24 divided by the Avogadro constant, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And again, you have to put these in your calculator correctly, so let's uh, watch the calculator very carefully and the, and the keystrokes. 4.214 times 10 to the 24 to start with. So 4.214. Now, that times 10 is not the multiply, it's this button down here. Okay, 24. Now we hit divide by, so it's divide, and then 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So 6.02, this button down here, 23 equals, and we've got the answer, seven, seven moles. Okay, now it happens to be a nice round number, sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. 
seven moles. Right, so that's the calculation answer question. Here is a sample exam question. I think it's came from an Excel uh, sample paper uh, to cite where it came from. And we've got this one here. Calculate the number of atoms combined in one mole of copper iodide CuI2. It's given us this formula. So the number of atoms in one mole, okay? Um, so how many different atoms do we have here? Well, we've got CuI2 is made of one times copper and two times iodine. So in other words, there's three atoms in total. So in one particle, if you like, or one unit of copper iodide, there's three atoms. So we've got three atoms in, 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 uh, in that. So if we have one mole of those, we're going to have one mole of three atoms. So in other words, three times the Avogadro constant. So that's going to be 6.02 times 10 to the 23 uh, times 3. Okay, so we've got three atoms there. And we want to know how many atoms if we have a mole of that. Okay, that's the number of particles in one mole, but we've got uh, three atoms in that particle, so it's three times. Numbers into a calculator. Uh, 6.02, that button there again, remember? Times 10 to the 23, multiplied by 3 equals 1.806 times 10 to the 24. Let's write that down. 1.806 times 10 to the 24. 